Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to X-Wing Alliance. I'm Computer, and last episode, we tried to deal with Uncle Anton. He told us that our father and our oldest brother were still alive, and at Kessel, we went there, but it turned out to be an Imperial trap. He'd made a deal with them, and, well, we got away, but so did Uncle Anton. On the other hand, it is entirely possible that the Empire reneges on their side of the deal because we got away, so Uncle Anton might very well be a very wanted man at this point. Kinda wish we got to deal with him ourselves. Seems very unlikely though, because this is the last battle of the game, and so it's time for the Battle of Endor. This should be a great day for the Alliance. We have a rare opportunity to crush the Empire and put an end to the- We have confirmed that the Empire is constructing a second Death Star. We all know what a terrifying threat the first Death Star was, and what an abomination a new one would be. Once before, at Yavin, the Rebel Alliance defeated the Empire. With great sacrifice, and despite enormously unfavorable odds, we achieved the greatest military victory of this war. We are now called upon to repeat that victory. From throughout the Alliance, we have gathered together forces sufficient to destroy the second Death Star before it can be completed. The battle we are about to enter will determine the fate of the galaxy. May the Force be with us. Our plan is simple. While this second Death Star is under construction, it is vulnerable to attack. The battle station's main defense is the energy shield being projected from the moon it is orbiting. The heroes of the Battle of Yavin, Princess Leia of Alderaan, General Solo of Corellia, and Commander Skywalker of Tatooine are leading a commando team to bring those shields down. We do not know precisely what Imperial forces may be at Endor defending the construction site, but we assume them to be relatively small. We make this assumption based on the success of our campaign, designed to thin out Imperial resources, and the fact that the Empire doesn't know we're coming. For the attack itself, we have mustered almost the entire Rebel Alliance fleet. This force should be adequate to deal with any surprises we may encounter. Once the shields have been brought down, the actual attack on the Death Star will commence. General Calrissian and Commander Antilles will lead Gold and Red groups respectively. The Imperials have made corrections to the design flaw we exploited in the first Death Star. Our attack, therefore, will require us to fly our ships into this new Death Star. Our target will be the central reactor core. Its destruction will trigger a chain reaction that will destroy the entire battle station. It will be the responsibility of the rest of the fleet to ensure Red and Gold make it safely in and out. If any Imperial reinforcements arrive, the fleet will be in a position to screen Red and Gold groups and allow them to complete their mission. The fate of the galaxy will be decided by what we do today. I know you will all do your best. Sounds good, sounds good. Our plan is simple. Yeah, good, good, good. Right, there's a lot of assumptions going on here, as While we all this know. Second Death Star is okay. under the heroes of the battle that we do not know precisely. We make this assumption based on... Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that the Empire doesn't know we're coming. It's almost sarcastically... Yeah. But I'm more interested in the fact that come on load thank you we're back on the independence again we can't see through this thing it's very nice also we're in the millennium falcon that's another big thing and that's actually in the unknown and uh, land of color is in there cool 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 uh, fly safely why are you leaving now I don't know. Anyway, we can load some warheads. That's good. Missiles, fine. Countermeasures, flares, I suppose. And I think we're good. Yeah. Admiral, we're in position. All fighters accounted for. Oh, wow. Proceed with the countdown. 
Um, guys. All groups assume attack coordinates. All right. Don't worry, my friends down there. You'll have that shield down in time. Or this will be the shortest offensive of all time. All craft, prepare to jump into hyperspace on my mark. All right, stand by. Guys, uh, wait for the mark. All right, all right. Everyone's so trigger happy today. But that means I can see that happening. And that. That's all nice, fun, good. All wings report in. Red leader standing by. Gray leader standing by. Green leader standing by. Lock S foils in attack position. May the force be with us. We've got to be able to get some reading on that shield, up or down. How can they be jamming us if they don't know if we're coming? Break off the attack, the shield is still up. I get no reading, are you sure? Pull up, all crap, pull up. Oh, hello. Take evasive action. Green group, stick close to holding sector MV7. Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. It's a trap. There we go. Now we have TIE Fighters. A lot of them, too. And that's probably going to kill my frame rate by a lot. Ow. Here's the thing. That's in trouble a lot. Yeah, they are. In fact, the medical favorite. Come on. It's the most vulnerable ship here. You better take that bandit off your stick. Well tried. So you have to just keep targeting it and targeting its attacker with A. And pretty much ignore anything else until, well, you have destroyed all of its attackers. There we go. And they come in four at a time, I think. Oh, hello. That's not a great sound to hear. Oh, hello. Almost nice. Um, let's get some more energy. Also, I'm a lot Imperial slower than I've been led to believe I should be. I mean, this is basically the same as either the Sabra or Vesubra or yeah, or the Otana, honestly. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I try and fail. Nothing attacking. This is four. I could use some help. Uh, I could this help four. try to help. There we go. More attacking. 
And they were right on top of it, too. top of it. Nice there we go. You're at 4% shields, though. That's not great for anyone. On your tail. That's fine. Anyone else want to deal with the redemption? Because I got your number somewhere. Let's see, oh, we're at 97. Maybe no one's coming for it. That's entirely possible. So. We're at 100%. Alright. The first wave of Imperial fighters has been cleared before your fighters went. Your friends have failed. Now, witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. Fire at will, Commander. Oh, that's how they're doing it. Cool. I was wondering. So, yeah, uh, phase two, that thing's operational. I don't know what that's going to entail, but that was the CRS Liberty getting blown up. I could continue right away, but I want to see something here. Good. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do them by mission, like mission by mission, so to speak. So, yeah, with pauses in between for just talking. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon is supposed to be a lot faster than any normal um, YT-1300. So uh, that felt weird. In the Akbar room at 1300 hours. The Akbar room, you say? Hmm. Uh, but it does have uh, both um, top and bottom uh, turret, unlike most of the other YT-1300s, like the Sabra or Vasudra. So that's nice. Check your mail. We're in the middle of a battle. I don't think it's appropriate to check social media. But let's see. Yeah, of course. Um, not entirely sure what this is about, but every time I... Well, anytime I... There we go. Thank you. I received new mail for you. And, yeah, not entirely sure what this is all about, but it gets uh, listed in the front category, I think, yeah. And everything in the last three or four missions gets, uh, you know, unread again, which is fine. There's not going to be any more males during this uh, battle, so that's all fine. Anyway, with all of that rambling over and done with... Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been X-Wing Alliance, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.